What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, everybody's asking me my thoughts on an interview that was done by the Boxing Voice. Shout out to Ness and shout out to the Boxing Voice. They did an interview in which information was dropped that we know on Monday, a, a purse bid is going to be ordered for Terrence Crawford and Sebastian Fundora for the WBO title. And it's expected that Terrence Crawford could forego, forego it and allow Sebastian Fundora to keep the title because Terrence Crawford got his sights set on Saul Canelo Alvarez. Right? And because he got his sights set on Canelo Alvarez at 168, he's not that much interested in Sebastian Fundora in the unification bout. Now, this only makes sense to me if Terrence Crawford already has a Canelo Alvarez plan in place, an agreement in place. Otherwise, this is a legacy fight for Terrence Crawford. It's a unification bout. It's a chance for Terrence Crawford to hold three belts at 154 if he's fighting beat Sebastian Fandora, right? But now it's stated that because Jamel Charlo, the former undisputed junior middleweight champion is the WBC World Boxing Council champion in recess and Sebastian Fandora beat Tim Zhu and became a unified WBC WBO champion for the vacant WBC title. He's stating that Jamel Charlo, who is rumored to come back December now, December 21st, that Jamel Charlo could be facing Sebastian Fundora because he's the WBC champion in recess and not Errol Spence and uh, Sebastian Fundora as it has been expected. It's been expected that we are gonna see Errol Spence and Sebastian Fundora. Obviously, clearly, that's the fight they've been setting up. That's no secret. That's no uh, uh, rumor. That's reality, right? We know Errol Spence got in the ring after Sebastian Fundora shocked the world and beat uh, Tim Zhu. Errol Spence got in the ring, and his uh, Sebastian Fundora's manager, Samson Lickowit, he stated that uh, the fight they wanted to make was uh, uh, Errol Spence and Fundora at AT and T Dallas Cowboys Stadium in Arlington, Texas and it would be a big fight, not Terrence Crawford. And Terrence Crawford didn't bring no money to the table. So we know, and Errol Spence got in the ring and they had a face off and they started to build a fight, but then the WBO stated that, listen, we gonna uphold our rules. And if you don't honor that, um, being Sebastian Fundora, you'll be stripped of the WBO, which a man mandatory is Terrence Crawford. And then they cited that they had a broken nose, an injury that you know, they couldn't proceed with the Terrence Crawford fight. So then it continued to get pushed back. Sebastian Fandora suspended to September, I think last week, uh, no, yesterday, September 27th, I believe. Um, and so now it was rumored that Sebastian Fandora and Errol Spence are gonna fight the end of January. But now they're saying that Errol Spence is out according to what this gentleman is stating. He said that Errol Spence is out the picture. He's definitely not going to fight. And now Sebastian Fundora, if him and Terrence Crawford don't come to agreement and Terrence Crawford just vacates the entire situation, that Fundora and Jamel Charlo, who is 35 wins, two losses, one draw, 19 wins by way of a knockout, who is the undisputed champion, but he moved up. We haven't seen Jamel Charlo since Jamel Charlo fought against Saul Canelo Alvarez in September of 2023. Right, so it's well over a year since we seen Jamel Charlo in the ring when he lost to Canelo and he went up in weight to 168 to challenge Canelo, uh, undisputed versus undisputed, and then he got stripped of the WBO and then he had the layoff and he came back down and just not active and he got stripped of all his belts, right? And so now they're saying that Jamel Charlo is, is back training, back working out, and that he's looking to fight Sebastian Fundor for that WBC title. That's interesting, right? Um, I mean, again, like I said, either which way, 
I wanted to see Jamel Charlo versus Sebastian Fundora or Jamel Charlo versus uh, Tim Zhu, right? It didn't matter to me. It, it didn't make me no difference how it came about. I would like to see both of them, right? So if Terrence Crawford is solely focused on Canelo Alvarez and not unifying the belts, then I love Jamel Charlo versus Sebastian Fundora. I also am eager to see Errol Spence get back in the ring. And Errol Spence recently stated that he could possibly move up to 160 over 154 and fight Eris Landi Lara. So is this an indication now? Uh, this would make sense to me if this is an indication that he's going to fight Lara at 160 and Jamel Charles is going to activate and fight Sebastian Fandora. That makes sense that Terrence Crawford is going to uh, forego on, you know, this, his plans of unifying the belts. And that means to me that Canelo Alvarez must have an agreement or he must have a soft agreement with them to fight Terrence Crawford. Because why would Terrence Crawford allow this to go past him and this opportunity, if he ain't gonna get, he don't know if he's still unsure of the Canelo Alvarez situation. That don't make sense. So this is all interesting, but Boston is the wild, wild west. It's not shocking. So my thoughts is these are great fights. I would love to see either which one of them. It doesn't matter to me. Just get it done already. That's my thoughts, get it done period. And that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button, drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV or one word. So all I got for y'all, I'm gone. Peace.